Now that we've read and learned about pigs, I want to write at least three sentences about pigs. I can write more sentences, but I want you to write at least three. So I'm going to look at my tree map to help me. And one thing that I want to do is make sure that I say what pigs are, what pigs can do, and what pigs have. So I'm just going to work from left to right. On my paper, I'm using a pen, but I would like for you to use a pencil in case you make a mistake, you can erase. So I know when I write, I always want to start with a capital letter. So I'm going to think about my sentence. My first sentence that I want to write are, hmm, I think I want to say that pigs are smart. So my first sentence will have three words. Pigs, then I leave a space, are, and I leave a space, smart, and then I'll end my sentence. I don't say pigs are smart. I have to leave spaces between my words. So my first word is pigs. I'm going to start with a capital P. P I G S. There's my word pigs, and it matches the word that's there I, just by using my sounds. I know the sight word R. I know I spell R, A, R, E, and I'm going to leave my space. I have the word smart there, but I could also use my sounds. S -m R is going to be A R, smart. Pigs are smart. Oh, I need to end my sentence with a period. Now, hmm, I don't want my sentence to start with pigs again. I think I'm going to say they. They can, I think I'm going to say they can swim and roll in mud to keep cool. That's going to be a really long sentence. So I don't think I'm going to have room right here. I'm going to go to the next line. You might have room on your paper. The word they, ooh, on my tree map, it's a lowercase t, but I know with a new sentence, I have to start with a capital T. The word they is the word the with a y. They, then I leave a space, can, ooh, I know that word, k, and, n. They can swim. I could sound that out. S w I m. They can swim. If I leave a space, I don't have room there. I'm going to go to the next line. But I don't need a capital. I'm not doing a new sentence. They can swim and. Oh, we know the sight word and. And. and they can swim and roll. Ooh, that's a harder one. I only hear one L. So if you only put one L, that's fine. I know because I'm much older than you that there are two L's, but if you only put one L, you're listening well to your sounds. They can swim and roll in. We know the word in. 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 Mud, mud. Mm, they can swim and roll in mud. It doesn't say why on my tree map, but I know why. Ooh, if I leave a space, there's no room. Go to the next line. To get, I think that's what I said, to get cool, to get, g, Eh, t, to get cool. K, ooh, it could be a K or a C. If you put either one, that's great. You're listening to your sounds. I've been doing this a long time, so I know cool starts with a K, C. Ooh, ooh, we know the O sound is double O, two O's. Cool. 
they can swim and roll in mud to get cool. I need to end my sentence with a period. So I said what pigs are, what pigs can do. Now I want to say what pigs have. Hmm, I could say all of these things or I could just do a couple. I think I'll say pigs have big ears, small eyes, and a tail. That's going to be a lot. Since I said they last time, I think I'll start with pigs again. And it's a new sentence, so I'm going to do my capital letter for pigs. P -ig -s. Pigs. Then I leave a space. Have. I know the sight word have. Have. Pigs have big, b, i, g, big ears. Ooh, ears is a harder word. I could look at my tree map. Ears. Ears. You don't really hear that A. Pigs have big ears. Now I'm listing things, so I'm going to use this thing called a comma and say my next thing. Small eyes. Small. I think I have room for a small here. Small. Small. If I leave a space, definitely no room. Now eyes is a strange word. I'm going to have to look at my tree map for eyes because the sounds are not like the letters. The word eyes, like your eyes you see with, is E Y E S. And that's just a word we have to learn. Pigs have big ears, small eyes. I'm going to use another comma since I'm listing things. And, oh, I know the word and. And. A tail, t -t tail, t a. If I just put the a, it's going to make the a ah sound, but in this word, a i will make the a say a t a o. I put my period to end the sentence. Now I can read the whole thing. Pigs are smart. They can swim and roll in mud to get cool. Pigs have big ears, small eyes, and a tail. I could write more sentences if I wanted to, but I need to write at least three and then read them on the Seesaw website. After I've drawn my picture of pigs, be sure to click on the video link to learn how to draw a pig and put your picture up here. I can't wait to see what you've done.